1961, social psychologist Stanley Milgram devised a test to see if ordinary law-abiding people would give a stranger a lethal electric shock in the name of science. Over the weekend, 70 tornadoes in 70 states, but what happened here in Joplin was certainly the worst. Just take a look at right around us. There are at least six cars. Mashed into a ball here with a chain link fence and building debris and trees all mashed in. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I can't go on, I can't go on. Sorry, I'm gonna have to give up, because I'm not, I'm not gonna do this. The point of Milgram's experiment is to see if the teachers will call a stop to the test. The experiment requires that you continue, so please go on. His new book about their ultra-violent culture is called Generation Kill. Look in the door of this car. It's a Chevy, I think, but you can see a brick coming through the door. And then look at how the door is just riddled and punched all the way through with these holes. It looks like it was shot at by a machine gun. Let me out. My heart's bothering me now. Right, okay. I said, I said, I can hear him. The experiment requires that you go on. They were raised by television, Hollywood movies, video games, internet porn. I mean, that stuff was available to them from a very young age. And that's sort of how they were acculturated into society. buildings of St. John's Hospital there, completely blown out, the roof off there. The description of this storm, about a mile wide, we think, but it was wrapped in rain, so you couldn't even see it. My fault, and morally it would have been my fault. Um, I could have argued that I was following a procedure laid out for a, an experiment, um, and perhaps tried to blame science, but in reality it would have been me pressing buttons. Please continue with the procedure. It hurts, but it isn't because it's like it's over a dangerous initial. It'll be alright, yeah? Please continue. Three. 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 As though it was aware. It was being watched. And it was here that physicists stepped forever into the strange, never world of quantum events. But you were involved in an important scientific experiment, and the professor was telling you to go on. Why did you disobey? It sounds a little bit like uh, the Nazis in the uh, in, uh, Second World War Germany. I, it, wasn't my, it wasn't me, Gough, you know, it was, uh, I was told to do it. The majority of people go all the way to, That's four, easy. Easy, to 450 volts. The point of Milgram's experiment is to see if the teachers will call a stop to the test or obey the professor and inflict extremely painful shocks, belief that they're advancing science. Or 
observing which slit it went through meant it only went through one. We're very much aware of what the people around us think. Uh, we want to be liked. We don't want to be seen to rock the boat, so we will go along with the group. Even if we don't believe what people are saying, we'll still go along.